Oh, hi there, folks. It's uh, Simon here, Ariège pipe smoker. Um, beautiful sunny day. Uh, all the internet computer chores are over. And so it's off for another adventure. Um, I have better directions, so hopefully with some luck, we'll be able to find the um, abandoned houses today, which are way up in the valley there. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Well, I think I'm on the right track. Uh, last time I, uh, instead of taking a left to sort of traverse this, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like a headland of a valley, um, I'd carried straight on and gone up the wrong valley. And of course, when you're uh, in the forest, it's very difficult to see the lay of the land. Um, but yeah, I'm heading towards the right valley, I think now. As you can see, the uh, probably since the last video in the forest, how uh, how many more leaves there are on the trees. All the beech leaves have unfurled. And I'm smoking. Um, I'll get onto it a bit better later on when I'm sat down. But I'm smoking a hundred percent Burley today. Um, it's a twist. It's taken some getting used to, uh, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's kind of um, unfolding now. Starting to uh, understand what it's all about. Right, I need to uh, find somewhere to sit down and take some layers off because uh, I'm up to operating temperature now. Well guys, I think this is it in the directions I've been given. Um, it looks like just an abandoned house rather than a village. Um, yeah, I think we'll have a, an explore around the grounds, make sure it is, uh, there is nobody living here and I'm not about to wake some old um, lady up or something. Uh, yeah, let's have, a, let's have a meet around, eh? Obviously there has been some life here recently because of the uh, plastic sheeting. Oh, tends to get brittle and uh, blow away in the wind. There's some sage growing, some raspberries. building itself. Very simple roof, just some sheets of tin it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty abandoned to me. Kind of looks like there's a fire or then maybe a lightning struck the two trees there.
Let's see if there's anyone home. Hello, it's Simon, Harry's pipe smoker. Wow. These stairs are going to hold me, but I'd imagine so. I think it used to be, um, actually a, um, a kind of squat um, obviously a lot of the building work is when I say new I mean um, within the last decades rather than the last century Laurent and Morgan I wonder who they were If these stairs are strong enough, let's see. Oh, if you never see this video, it is because the stairs didn't hold me. As you can see, if I have a look, there's a fair, uh, fair drop down. Well, that will be the um, master bedroom. I mean, if you can get past the um, derelict state of it, the actual um, shape of the roof <coughs> makes it kind of quite an attractive shape room actually. I don't know how well it's going to come out on film. It's quite low light in here. But yeah, it's kind of like being in the Chernobyl zone. Not that I've ever been in the Chernobyl zone. But, uh, uh. Ah, there was some wine. <laughs> ah, still some uh, coffee on the shelf. Wonder if there's any gas. I think that's empty. There's a cooker, there's coffee. Could have made a cup of tea. Had a tin of peaches. Tribal drum. Hmm. Interesting place. Slightly interested what's up here. Yeah, I mean, uh, difficult place to live. I mean, this time of year, I mean, it's probably, oh, I guess not too far, half hour, 45 minute walk from the, uh, from the road. Um, it doesn't sound much. But imagine having to carry, you know, a week's worth of groceries, gas bottles, tools, all the things that you need. And of course in the winter, when there's a, a metre of snow, probably untenable. Unless you're young and enthusiastic. 
Well, I guess um, I guess it's uh, time to sit down and uh, refill the pipe and um, get back onto the subjects of tobacco. <laughs> So guys, I decided to um, continue on a little bit from the abandoned house. Uh, it's not that it's eerie. Um, it's just clearing the cobwebs of somebody else's memory, I guess. Um, I thought, yeah, I'll come follow the track a little bit further in up the valley. Um, still haven't found the perfect place to sit down and have a pipe. Uh, I keep thinking, oh, I'll get to the next get to the next little brow and that will do and then another one unveils but yeah always makes me wonder these abandoned buildings you know like the full story and uh, maybe it didn't all end happily maybe it did um, but either way I just uh, didn't really feel like hanging around there um, getting involved in another person's story of bygone years. Uh, so I thought I'd clear my head a bit and uh, get reinvigorated by um, walking up these incredibly steep hills. <laughs> ah. I mean, I assume the path goes somewhere. Um, the fact that there is a path uh, or maybe there's no reason for a path. Maybe there is just a path in existence. But I don't know this valley at all. This is the first time up here. You see, it's pretty, uh, pretty long way down. The river's another river at the bottom. I'm slowly climbing. Uh, but I'm going to have to stop at some point because uh, it's the Pyrenees. And you can walk up and up and up and up and up for what seems indefinitely. <laughs> There's not always a conclusion with these paths. Um, so yeah. Well, I kind of um, found uh, an animal track down to the bottom of the valley. We've just come out into this lovely vale. Beautiful. I think if we go up here, we're about to find somewhere to sit and have a smoke. Well, at last I found somewhere um, that has all the necessary requirements for a pipe. Bit of um, a couple of um, uh, not disasters, but um, inconveniences. Uh, I got wet feet, so I'm just sitting here and drying out my socks and shoes. I uh, don't so get blisters. I had a banana explode inside my bag, which made a bit of a mess. Uh, but apart from that, <laughs> smoking another Big Ben silhouette. Um, I have two. <laughs> Slightly different shape. I guess that's more of an apple and that's more of an egg, I guess. And both nine millimeter.
very good pipes. They smoke really well. Um, they fit in my little um, carry case. And I thought tea is quite good to bring out. I mean, I can smoke it. I've smoked this one already. I, I can probably smoke it again, charge it up and smoke it again. But I thought I'd have tea and uh, one, one can be resting, drying. But they hang very well. Great lunting pipes, very lightweight. And I'm smoking. Obviously, this is only um, a small piece of it. It is called Her Wap Wap. <laughs> and it is a 100% aged burly twist. Initially, I found it quite challenging to smoke. Um, it doesn't bite, but it's got that, well, I guess it's a burly bite. So it's rather than a tongue burn. Um, it's, it's, it's a different thing going on in the mouth. Um, and I believe, if I remember correctly from reading something last year, uh, Virginias and Burleys have opposite Alkal um, acidity, alkalinity. I, I forget which one's alkaline smoke and which one's acid smoke. And we're talking about the smoke, not the um, not the composition, not, not the actual acidity of the leaves, but the actual um, acidity of the smoke. Um, I have a, I have a feeling it's Virginia is the alkalines no i'm not i'm not going to continue that because i've forgotten um but i, I think what one is one is more alkaline one is more virginia and uh, more um, acidic so of course i think this is why virginia burley blends work well together because they um in the the, 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 the smoke um they kind of neutralize each other's extremes of acidity and alkalinity um, but of course 100 percent burley And it is, it, it is a slight challenge to smoke. Um, it burns well, it's easy to get lit. It, um, it's one of those tobaccos that you really do need to go very, very gently on it. Uh, and I found that if you go really, really gently, there's actually some very, very rewarding flavours there. Um, I'm using um, the 9mm Meerschaum filters. It's, it's like powdered Meerschaum in there because I found it doesn't take the flavour away at all or, or very, very minimal. It absorbs a lot of moisture. Um, And it does seem to smooth out. There's a few rough edges on this tobacco, but, but not unpleasantly so. I mean, uh, it, it is an aged, aged leaves, and then the whole um, twist is aged. It's by um, Thomas Darius, Backhouse Keel. Um, But there's some, there's some very, very rewarding flavours to be had. Um, it's got a very, um, a very, uh, like, dark, stewed, fruit, fermented uh, tin note to it. I mean, it, it says on the website that it's made, the, the, the twists or ropes are made with, um, I could be wrong here, but I think they're aged between three and five years, the leaves, before they're made into the, into the rope or the twist. 
And then the twist then is aged for another six months. And to quote, in a bath of spices. I, I don't know what that means. We definitely get all of those um, notes you expect with, 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 with the burley. You know, there's chocolate, nut, very earthy. There's not really much sweetness there, um, as, as I guess you would expect, seeing as. Uh, there's no like uh, Virginia's or tobaccos that have a higher sugar content so to balance it out. It does have a certain, when I say this, uh, there's harsh edges, it's not so much in the flavour, but more in the, um, the mouth feel. So it's definitely not an everyday smoke, or an all-day smoke. Maybe, maybe it is an everyday smoke. I mean, I, I do. I, I tend to enjoy this um, kind of after I've eaten. When you want something that's got a bit of a uh, bit of body to it. And when I first got it, I, I oh, I don't know about this. I was a little bit um, after the initial smoke. I was a little bit. Um, I won't say scared, but uh, cautious, cautious. But I'm, I'm starting to get into it now. I'm, I'm starting to discover the um, discover what it's all about. I want to give um, a big thanks to one of my subscribers, um, Chris Bundy. Uh, for some reason, uh, it was one of these comments that the notification say you've got a comment, but the comment never appears on the um, in the comment section. And it's not even if you go over to the YouTube Studio Analytics part, um, it's not there as a comment on hold. So I, I'm, I'm not sure what all that's about. Um, but on my previous video, or maybe the one before, I mentioned I was after the, um, a new valve, <coughs> a re re refill valve for a um, Corona lighter, um, and I couldn't find anything online. Um, Chris has given me, I'll put, I'll put it down in the description, I think it's, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think they're based in Germany and they uh, do lighter repairs and they have all of the spare pieces. I've looked at the website, um, I haven't contacted them yet. And also I was trawling the, the, the pages of Reddit and I've got um, the uh, contact details for I am Corona themselves. So again, I'll put that down, uh, put that down to maybe of um, use to some people, I imagine. I don't really want to send the lighter away to be repaired because I'm perfectly capable of uh, <laughs> screwing in a new piece. But, um, to see. Well I hope I haven't made too much of a mistake here. Um, I've kind of crossed the river. Um, I can't really see here but we came down, we walked down the other side of the valley and the other side of the river going that way and I've kind of crossed the river twice, three times actually. And now I'm heading down this side and it's quite a, it's more of a small stream, but it's, it's a bit bigger at the bottom. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to get cut off if another stream joins. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get wet feet again. But uh, yeah. Well, obviously I'm not lost because I know if I follow the river, I get back to where I started from. And I kind of like the adventure. The adventure starts when I get off the track that I was on and uh, start following these um, 
you think it's a track and it turns out it's just an animal track and it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure if I followed the river it would be alright. I've got the sun right in my eyes here. It's actually a bit cool down, down by the river because it's more humidity. It's, it's definitely a bit cooler. If I sit here for much longer, I'm going to put a jumper back on. Um, I very much doubt I'm going to get my socks bone dry. So, uh, Well, I guess that'll be it for this video. Um, thanks for your time. Um, I am um, I am going to be doing a giveaway soon because I think it's uh, I think possibly it's next month is a year anniversary of uh, since my first video. Um, so I'll probably do a draw on that date and open the giveaway prior to that date. Um, it's nice to be out and about again, so I, I just spent the whole weekend um, doing listings and photography for my Etsy shop. So um, now the shop stocks are, uh, are getting a bit higher again. Uh, I think the prize and the giveaway will be uh, any pipe that you wish from my shop. Um, I think that's the best way of doing it. And maybe a runner's up prize of, of, of a t-shirt, something like this. Um, I mean, it's on it's on the um well it's been on the back boiler for some time it's coming uh, it's coming on to the the front boiler now for such a thing and, uh, just 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 uh, working it out how i want to do it and uh what how you know prizes and all of this kind of stuff um so without further ado i think i'm going to get my shoes back on well we're going to finish my pipe then put my shoes back on and then Follow the river back home. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> All right, then, guys, thanks for your time. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care, guys, girls. Happy piping, smoking, and. Uh, Take care and see you on the next one.